Hello friends. Today we are going to have the second part of auditory discrimination activities for both neurodiverse and neurotypical children to improve their attention. The first activity today is percussion with the help of glasses with different levels of water filled in them. So every time the sound changes. The voice becomes deeper with the more the water is filled in the glass. So in this way, the child tends to discriminate or understand by closing their eyes how much water is filled in each glass. The second activity is called clap when you hear the word. Before that, we can try to do the same activity with alphabets or numbers where you try to read random numbers or alphabets to the child and when a specific alphabet or number is said, the child is supposed to clap. In a similar manner, you can try to do it with a story. So try to clap whenever you hear the word woodcutter. Make it a very clear word. Ask the child to repeat. What word is it? Woodcutter. Once upon a time, there lived a woodcutter with his wife in a village. The woodcutter headed to the forest to cut down some thick trees. The third activity is repeating a string of words that has been given to them. So in the first set, only a few words can be introduced, maybe two or three, which are related to each other so that they could be names of all transport. So you can say aeroplane, train, bus and the child repeats aeroplane, train, bus. Initially you can emphasize the child simply recalling the names bus, aeroplane, train. Later on you can emphasize they have to be spoken in the same sequence. So there is a sequential memory also with the child. Later on you can increase the number of words to maybe five or seven. After that, the activity changes to unrelated words. So, for example, you can say bus, crow, bed. Crow, bus, bed. So, the child tries to recall in this activity, try to give the child as much time as possible so that their recall is better and you don't start prompting them initially. This activity can be further made challenging by adding longer words. For example, woodcutter, aeroplane, cupboard. The fourth activity is a visual plus auditory discrimination activity. So the child tries to figure out if they are trying to crush a leaf. So you've made three categories of leaf. One which is a green leaf, which is quite rubbery and soft. The second one could be a yellow one and the third one could be the dry one because it produces this crunchy effect. So they figure out that the crunchy one is the one that produces more sound. The next activity is called as water pouring sound activity. So the water pouring if you try to do in a long glass, initially the sound is more because it is coming at the base and then the voice becomes softer. The second step is the height from which you are pouring the water. So if it is close to the glass, it will be less sound. The higher you go, the sound increases. The next game is called as ring the bell when you hear a color. So you can give a list of colors to the child like red, yellow, blue, green, black, orange and then specifically tell them you have to remember three main colors, red, blue and green. So you only have to ring the bell when these three colors are being shown to you. So at the same time, it works on the visual attention of the child and the verbal. So when the child sees blue color, they ring the bell. The same activity can later on be practiced with only verbal. So the colors are not shown, but just spoken out loud. So did the child hear the sound or hear the word every time, the name of the color? I really like this next activity 
cans connected with a thread. So one of them becomes the speaking can and one of them becomes the hearing can. So it becomes an interactive activity where two kids can play, a parent and a child can play. So one of them tries to speak, the other tries to hear closely. So the child can understand, first try to speak loudly, then keep on reducing your volume so that the child tries to listen closely even if you are whispering to them. The next activity is called as hear the sound and follow. So in this the child is blindfolded and you try to call them from a certain direction. So you can either say their name or clap. So the child hears the clap okay it seems to be coming from the left side so the child goes in that direction. Then you try to maybe go at the back of the child and try to clap again. The next activity is a songs based activity where they are supposed to work on concepts like left right discrimination or body part and it's best to do these kind of activities in front of the mirror for a good visual feedback. The child can observe themselves how they are doing it even it could be singing the songs. So for example the child usually whispers or speaks softly but when they have a feedback of exactly how they are doing and you can show them simultaneously. Hook, let's do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around and the child may respond that's what it's all about and the final game is a sound pretend game so for example that you say the name of an animal and the child tries to produce that sound or the or the name of a transport and the child tries to produce that sound so for example you show the child the horse so the child says Nee, nee. or you show the child a dog and they say woof woof so in this way the sounds they discriminate the different sounds in their environment and helps in their learning i hope these two videos were informative for you and you got a good understanding of auditory discrimination activities for your child please practice them with them and also like the video subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development Ring the bell icon for notifications, add any queries, comments or suggestions below and we'll meet again soon. Bye.